Broad. Black. 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 After the Civil War, black people started making communities where they could accumulate wealth. Organizations like the KKK and white supremacists decided that didn't get to exist. Places like Black Wall Street, Rosewood, and multiple others were burned to the ground and everyone was killed. Anyone that survived, all of their information was burned inside their houses. When black people went to the banks to retrieve their money to rebuild everything, the bank said, no, all of their bank cards have been burned. They couldn't get their money back. All of those banks still exist and still have all their money and it's all accumulated wealth. White people from that particular time in that area were able to get their money back. This is why reparations are necessary to atone for our actions. We literally created poverty on purpose for multiple people. You don't deserve reparations for slavery because you never suffered slavery. With points. One, you should be in favor of reparations, and I'll tell you why. But first, I totally understand why you're not in favor of reparations. You're a poor white man who has failed to achieve any meaningful financial success despite living in a country that was quite literally built for you. So of course you don't believe in white privilege because you failed to capitalize on yours. But there's this great quote, rising tides lift all boats. So if you stand side by side and help the descendants of slaves receive reparations, they will stand by you in your fight for pay equity, unionization, and political representation. And you should want black people on your side because they have more social and cultural capital than any other marginalized group in this country, than any other group, period. In addition to all of that, there's already a precedent for reparations in this country. The former owners of slaves received reparations from the government for their lost property. So when you say don't deserve, it just leads me to believe that you don't know your history. This video is for anybody who is against reparations for slavery. If you can make an anti-reparations argument that can convince me that you're correct without using an argument that looks like this, without saying, well, it has, he wasn't alive, well, the sins of his father should not impact him. If you can make any argument that uses any historical context, facts, numbers, anything that does not look like that, I will concede publicly. I will get on TikTok live and concede. But I don't know how you can look at this graphic and see that this very wealthy family whose wealth extends almost 300 years, whose wealth started by the brutal enslavement of black people and whose wealth never missed a beat. Every single one of these silhouettes you see was wealthy as hell. So I will wait for your argument. The only reason anybody would be against reparations is if they don't feel that this country has anything to repair in how it has treated and continues to treat black folks. I, I don't think reparations for something that happened 150 years ago for whom none of us currently living are responsible is a good idea. First off, Mitch, you were alive 100 years ago. Look at you. Second, reparations are not just about slavery. They are about repairing the incessant harm that has been done to black people in this country since we were stolen and brought here, and that does not end with slavery. These people act like Jim Crow was just like a minor inconvenience. It was violence! And I don't know if y'all been looking around lately, but basically reparations should be owed for what was done like 15 minutes ago in this country. We've tried to deal with our original sin of slavery by fighting a civil war. If the civil war was really about righting the wrongs of slavery, then we wouldn't have all these Confederate flags and Confederate statues still just confederating around to this day. To this day! About passing uh, landmark civil rights legislation. These people wake up every morning to undo civil rights legislation. Uh, we've elected an African-American president. Now you know you ain't vote for Barack. We need to become reparationists. We need to make preparations for reparations. And I say that comes with us first, making reparations a part of our culture. This should be a part of our lifestyle. And we should be demanding that reparations be given to us by whoever is in the presidency and by whoever wants to be president. And also by our local and state governments. And I don't think that means just waiting to the last minute of an election and saying that we're not gonna vote for you unless you give us reparations. Nah, we should be getting behind candidates who already believe in this. And all you white folks who wanna be down, maybe you better be reparationists too. That's the new question for your white friends. Do you believe black people should get reparations? See, reparations are not a capital gain. They're an ethical practice. Because in a society where advancement is determined by money, the only way to correct the systematic hindrance of that advancement is by providing money. 
Reparations are not some far reaching thing that have never been figured out before. We need to stop looking at reparations as something we need to imagine. Consider them as something that is very real that needs to happen. What we need to imagine is what we are going to do with the reparations to make sure that our community and ourselves are taken care of. We need to become reparationists. Western Africa is starting to get pretty rich. Dude, first of all, you owe African American reparation. So give them the reparation so that they can become the investors that Africa needs. Africa doesn't want you. Please, please leave Africa alone. You already have stolen enough from us. You also have stolen our people and have used them to build your country. You also have used our resources that you have stolen from us to build your country. And then now, after stealing everything, you want to steal more? Like, when are you going to be satiated? You are never satisfied. This is what a parasite do. Here's how most white people respond to the idea of reparations for African Americans. No one alive today was ever enslaved and no one alive today was ever a slave owner. This is ridiculous. We're not giving away free money just based on race. Every culture has some form of slavery. But every white person who is alive today is still benefiting from the transatlantic slave trade and chattel slavery. And every black person who is alive today is still being negatively impacted by the legacy of the transatlantic slave trade and chattel slavery. It's not giving away free money to people based on their race. It's an overdue debt that has been owed for hundreds of years that has yet to be paid. Other cultures did not have chattel slavery where people were born into slavery in perpetuity with no way to get out of it and by no fault of their own and then terrorized. It's not only about chattel slavery, it's also about the white supremacist domestic terrorism against black people that has been happening for hundreds of years and it's still happening. It's still happening today. Reparations are for chattel slavery, yes, and also for the government-sanctioned violence, displacement, dehumanization, criminalization, and marginalization of Black people ever since chattel slavery ended. Period. Got it? Good. Oh, this is Chattel Rebuilding, another production by Road Park Park.